you are specially welcome to Ijile TV on YouTube. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing now so you won't miss out on our latest video upload. Please hit the notification bell so you will get informed as we upload new content. Please subscribe now. Ijile TV. OD. Oh, I thank God. God has been faithful. He has been faithful. Good. 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 Okay. So, um, help me manage this for the preparation for your wedding. Wow, wow, thank you so much. No, 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 you don't have to do that. Oh, wow, wow. Thank you, thank you. I so much appreciate this. Wow, this is huge. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. I pray the Lord continue to enlarge you. Amen. The Lord continue to provide for you. I'm so grateful. Uh, the I thing is, uh, Doris, you deserve much more. Because you have labored with me in this company. So there is nothing I'm giving to you that is too much. Especially for your wedding. So you don't need to thank me. Thank you, <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> My dear. I'm just super happy that in a couple of days we'll be together for life, forever. I will no longer need to look for you before I see you. And you no longer need to look for me before you see me. Honestly, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, my dear, I want you to know that what we need most now is prayers. Yes. Of course, I know we've been praying, but we need to pray more now. Yes. Seriously, my love, I've been praying. I've been praying seriously. And I just believe God will be faithful to his word this time. I just believe. But, hmm, babe, 
I'm afraid. Hmm. Afraid? <laughs> See, you don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be afraid. All we need to do now is to rely on God. You know, our God is ever faithful. I'm sure he will bring his words to pass in our lives. Just keep calm. You don't need to be afraid. Um, tomorrow is our last prayer and counseling session with Pastor, right? Oh, yeah, that is. I'm, I'm working towards that. Okay. It's all right. Um, how far about your gown? Wow, it was delivered this morning. Wow, good. And how is it? Perfect. She did a wonderful job. You need to see. Good to hear, good to hear. I also want to go and pick my shoes. The manager called me that the shoes are ready. I need to go there and pick it now. Babe, can't you send someone? You shouldn't be running around this time. You, you can send someone to get them for you. My dear, we are covered. We are covered by the grace of God. No evil will be for us before, during, and after the wedding ceremony. No evil will be for us, okay? We just need to keep calm, okay? Let's rely on God. Uh, besides, I won't stay long just to pick the shoes and come back home. Huh? It's all right, my love. It's okay. Seriously, I can't, I can't just wait to be addressed as Mrs. Doris Irabo. You can say that again. Okay, same here. I can't wait to have my name added to yours, honestly. <laughs> That will happen in five days' time. We shall live in harmony. Amen. Our marriage will be like that of paradise on earth. Amen. All right, it is well. Okay, release me now. Let me go and pick the shoes. All right, baby. I love you so much, my king. Same here, my queen. Love you. Hello guys. Movement. Movement. Yeah. We are Jalo. Can you please lead us to uh, road 12? Road 12. Road 12. Uh, you may have to turn and go this way. Hello, hello sir. Which side, sir? Just turn and hello, sir. Please. Oh, oh. You're a gentleman. What's that? Yes! You, you, you only ask. My dear, where are you? My dear, where are you? Where are you? What happened? Something terrible has happened. What? What is it? Brother Festus. Yes. Sister Doris, husband to be. Yes. Was said to have been kidnapped by some unknown gunmen a few hours ago. Oh my God! Not again! Oh God! What? The moment Sister Doris heard about the news. Yes. She fainted. Oh God! She fainted. She has been rushed to the hospital now. Which hospital? I don't know. We just have to go. Oh my God. Go get something put on. Okay. Something better than this put on and meet okay. me outside. Oh my God. Do it fast. Do it fast. Sir, the person that called to break the news called her directly. And immediately she got the news. She fainted. And we rushed her here, yes, sir. That's serious, but... How is her condition now? Is she better? Sir, Ma, we have not been permitted to see her since we brought her here. Even when I needed to change her clothes, 
They didn't allow me to go inside, sir. Sir. Um, that's okay. That's okay. I think we had better go into city doctor ourselves. It's okay. So, Victor, we'll be right back. Okay, thank you. My last prayer is that I live. My last prayer is that I survive. My last prayer is that I fulfill destiny. When I heard the story of that sister, I warned him about her. But he wouldn't listen to me. He wouldn't listen to me. See, see, see where the so called will of God has landed him. <laughs> ah, imagine, I, when I spoke to him about that evil lady, he said he would rather obey God than listen to me. Now, <laughs> obedience to God has landed him on timely death. <laughs> ah, will God, will God ever give his children what will cause sure their destinies? In fact, I don't even know what to say. How will someone see and walk into the name of lion? <laughs> to me, it's beyond nourish. I I totally agree with what you said, hundred percent. But uncle, uncle, we, we can. I think we need to go to police station now to make a report. We can't sit here and just discuss. You are right about that. I've right. already done that. Ah. I've called one of my friends who is a police officer. Okay. In fact, they will soon be here now. Uh, and I'll be there to report officially. Pastor, this is a very serious matter. And you said this is not the first time this is happening to her. Hmm? Hmm. This is the third time, sir. What? Yes. Hmm. The first time something like this happened, it was handled by the former TPU right here. The incident happened just about two weeks before the wedding. The young man suddenly disappeared. It was a day before the wedding that we found his corpse. It was a pathetic incident. Sir, the second case happened just like the first one. But this time around, it was a week to the wedding when the young man suddenly disappeared. Again, he was kidnapped. Now, till I speak, we have not been able to trace his whereabouts. Now, this particular case again happened five days to the wedding. Something is wrong somewhere, sir. Hmm. This is seriously serious. But you should have advised her not to have a elaborate wedding, especially when this is this has been happening to her. Sir, you are correct. The wedding was not planned to be elaborate. It was meant to be a very quiet ceremony. In fact, it was, a, it was supposed to be a parlor affair. The bride, the groom, and three or four relatives. That was the arrangement. That was the arrangement. It wasn't planned to be a lousy one. Well, Pastor, uh, I think the IPO will have to talk to her when she's better. From what information I have, maybe she has dated some, you know, past boyfriend. Because it looks like she's the target. Hmm. Well, um, sir, we cannot rule out that point. We can't. It's a very strong possibility. However, sir, we are begging you, please do everything within your capacity and capabilities to help us. This 
young man must not go the way others have gone. Please help us. Pastor, I can assure you, we are on it already. And whoever that is involved in this shall be brought to book. I promise you. Thank you, sir. I promise you. Thank you, sir. Yes, um, you said you saw the car that picked him up that very day. Yes, sir. I saw the car. It was one green, like army green car that picked him up. Yes, sir. Janet! Huh? What is going on here? Good day, sir. Uh -huh. Good day, sir. Okay. We are men of the Nigerian police force, sir. We are in this area on investigation about one Mr. Festus that was kidnapped a few days ago, sir. And what is your business about the kidnapper? Um, I wanted to explain... Mm -hmm. What are you doing with this policeman? I just wanted to tell them what I saw. I have warned you! That you should not tell anybody whatsoever you know concerning this, this incident. Yes, sir. Please huh? calm down, sir. Do calm down, sir. We mean no harm. Um, let her complete her story, sir. Complete this story. Please, let her complete her story, sir. Janet, before I pass on you, go in, sir. Yes. I think we may need to come back to meet with this young lady. We may get some useful information from her. I know you must have been saying your last prayer right now. Because you know you will soon die. <laughs> you are a fool. You shouldn't have come near that lady at all. You insisted on marrying her. I will kill you and drop your dead body in your family's house. And you know the meaning of that. Nonsense. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> yes, boss. Yes, boss. I want you to teach him a lesson. Boss, consider it done. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Doris, like I was saying, I want you to calm down. You need to make up your mind to be fine. At least for now. Your health is very, very important in this matter. You need to be fine for yourself. And I want to assure you that the evil people will surely be brought to book. Mm. My boys are all out there looking for Festus and I'm sure we'll get him back um, but I want to ask you some questions I want you to be very sincere in your answers very very sincere as that will help our investigation on this matter is there anyone you are suspecting You don't have anybody in mind? Alright. Secondly, have you jilted any man before? Please get me right. Get me right. All I'm trying to say is that is, is there anyone you have promised in the past that you are going to marry? Maybe for one reason or the other. It may be for a reason best known to you. Maybe that you later disappoint. No, sir. I didn't disappoint anybody. I didn't cheat any man. And you are very sure? Yes, sir. <sighs> That's alright. 
Mm. <sighs> On the final notes, please be fine. You need to be fine for yourself. Your health is very, very important. Please. In case we need any other information, I'll get back to you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, sir. Take care. Thank you, sir. One thing I know that I'm sure the Lord will deal with all those who are behind this evil Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, ah, can you imagine? But sincerely, I'm short of words. What a world we live in. How can a person put his fellow human being in this kind of problem? Hey. How? Hey. It's indeed a wicked world. And one thing I'm sure of is the law will deliver professors and bring those evil people to book in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah. Amen. Well, um, we must thank God. At least the situation is under control. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jabo, we must thank you very much. Yes, sir. God bless you. The doctor said you have deposited some money to pay for the hospital bills. Mm, yes, That's sir. much. That's much. <laughs> we thank the Lord, sir. Uh, Doris deserves more. Mm, she's worth more than that. Yeah, mm. well. Thank you so much, sir. The Lord will bless the work of your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Pastor, you're welcome, sir. Ah, officer. Ah. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're only doing our job. Uh, you can go back inside. We are done with her. Right. Thank you so much. The doctor said she will be discharged any moment from now. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. So we have to Thank be on God. our way, sir. It's all right. It's all right, okay. Sir. Thank you You're so much, officer. Welcome, officer. My last prayer is that I survive. My last prayer. Is that I fulfill destiny? Keep me, Lord. Oh. Why are you talking like this? You are talking like a non believer. Where is your faith? We prayed and we were sure that God was leading us in this marriage and we supported them. <laughs> Sister Tolu, you shouldn't have talked like that. You see, our God is not a liar, He is ever faithful to His words. When Brother Festus told us about the sister, we also prayed about it. And we were so sure of God in it. That was why we gave him our support. You see, it is not our first time of hearing from God. Of course. We were sure, and we are still sure, that God is leading us to support this relationship. I mean, by the grace of God, we will be vindicated very soon. <laughs> Sir, I agreed with everything you have said. My brother said God spoke to him. And you also said God spoke to you. You supported my brother to go ahead and date a sister that her husband to be died mysteriously some days to their wedding. This Saturday is supposed to be my brother's wedding day. And he's nowhere to be found. What do we do? What do we do? Daddy, mommy, when the whole family turned against him, you supported him. You supported him in the name of will of God. See what is happening to us. Nothing must happen to my brother. My brother must not die. I'm just this calm because it's you. Don't be far from me. Don't you leave me, Lord. Stay with me forever. In you have put my trust. Wash me in your blood so I may be clean. Grace, I pray. Greater than, than my sins, oh. Grace, I pray. Greater than my Greater sins. Than my Jesus, please save me. Your word is here and amen. Save me. I am helpless. Stupid boy. <laughs> you can't continue to say your last prayers. Again and again. <laughs> Guys. Yes, boss. The chairman just called that this guy must die before Saturday. Great. This calls for celebration. Another bastard is ready to go home. <laughs> yes. 
We have to celebrate that. Yes, yes that is it. We celebrate. <laughs> I want the two of you to go to the town and get as much as liquor that we can take in this place. Get as much as wine as you can get. Yes, boss. This called for celebration. Yes, it yes, calls boss. for enjoyment. Yes, <laughs> yes sir. We need to gyrate it. Yes, Bam. boss. We need to feel it. Yes, Bam. boss. Guys, <laughs> come on. Off to the town. Wow. Let's place this place right. <laughs> for, it calls for celebration. Come on, go, go, go. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Go, 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 go. I want to see that your pastor. See, I need to see him because I need to tell him to his face that he's the one who has brought all this calamity onto us. Why will he support my brother to go ahead in that relationship that will bring him on timely death? That's why the fact that I want him not to do that. See, I need to see him and tell him to his face. He's not his fact. I don't even believe he's a pastor. Uh -huh. Yes, I told him and his wife the truth. Uh -huh. They are the ones that pushed my brother to that evil lady. Uh -huh. See, ah. If you have been there and they don't listen to you, I know what to do. I know how to handle such people. Uh -huh. See, from here, I'm going straight to the police station and make a statement that is the major suspect in this case. Uh -huh. See, I will tell them and I will make them to arrest him and confess what he has done. It has not got into what? The police. No, it has not got into what? Imagine if his younger brother will he still support him to go into something? Eh? Will he still support him? See, I don't care whatever you think. What I'm going to do is go, go to the station now and make a statement that is the major suspect. In, I know them. I know them. Whether you like it or not, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to drive now to the station and make sure that he's arrested and he's detained. And I will do everything. See, I will use everything that I have in me to make sure that he pays for what he did. He's the avenger in this case. And he's the major suspect. Please, if you like to do better, then I'm going to the station now to make a statement for him to be arrested. Uh, uncle. I will do that. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. <laughs> uh. Um, Ma, please, I think you need to talk to her now. She needs to stop crying. She's not even considering her health. Please talk to her. Enough of all this cry, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, have mercy. Thank you, too, Sister Doris. No. Sister Doris, stop crying. Me. I know God is at work <laughs> and He will give us victory this time around. Yeah, stop mommy, crying. victory. Where's the victory, mommy? Where? Sister Doris, stop crying. Sister Doris, please now stop crying. I beg you in the name of God, please stop crying. <laughs> Look at you. You are crying. Why you are telling someone to stop crying? I'm yeah? crying. Sorry, Sorry. 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 The issue is that they shouldn't have involved the old man at all. They all knew she is hypertensive. Yeah, yeah. So, that's true. We couldn't hide it any longer, sir. She didn't seem my sister for this now. And based on the past experience, we just have to let her know. She was also trying to call Professor's number, but it was switched off. It was switched off. See what you're going to do. Now this is the time that you must grow up to become a real man. Is that okay? As you're staying with mama and taking care of her, you must not be far away from your sister. Omolara too will continue to stay with her and you will continue taking care of her. Is that okay? Okay. Um, I think you should uh, 
hold to this. I'm sure you'll need money to shuttle between here and the Thank grandma's you, sir. place. Thank you, sir. Uh, whatever they need in the hospital, just let me know. Thank you, sir. May I'll God settle it. continue to bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Thank you. The Lord will continue to bless all your works and your gifts. In Jesus' name, we really appreciate you. My dear, I am seriously worried. What are we going to do now? You see? Our God is not the author of confusion. I know this is a very serious matter. Notwithstanding, God will prove himself. Um, Pastor Dan called a while ago. He said he would like us to raise up a prayer altar in this place tonight. And that um, at their end too, they will also be doing the same. I believe with that. We will see something surprising. God will prove himself. Holy Spirit drops sin in my heart, my dear. God must arise over this matter. I have a little concern. Even our own church members are not happy with us over this matter. They felt our support for Brother Festus getting married to this sister in this relationship was just too obvious. You are right, my dear. But the reason why we gave our consent in this issue mm. was because we were so sure of God's involvement. God spoke to us about them. Of course. God spoke to us. You know, but there is a place for wisdom in ministry. I think over this matter, we did not apply wisdom. At any rate, God in our foolishness will still prove himself faithful. I have no doubt that God we show up on this matter. It's not worth it. Okay. In this matter, there's nothing to worry about. Amen. Amen. And that calls for a great celebration. <laughs> Here, consider it done. We shall carry out the assignment exactly. <laughs> Fool! You have a few hours to die. You better say your last prayer. <laughs> My father, show up. Arise to deliver me. Prove yourself God before these people. Lord, come and arise. Come and set me free, Lord. Come and set me free, Lord. We will never support you to go and kill yourself. Never. Ah. Kill myself? Yes. How? See, we all know the story of that lady. We have made our findings. We know everything already. Oh. <laughs> Tolu. I know the story you are talking about. I'm in the picture of her. In fact, I know the story more than you do. Really? Yes. But, um... But what? Ah. I'm so sure of God's approval in this matter, and that's enough for me. That is it for me. So, because you are so sure of God's approval that He wants to go and die. If you want to die, we will not allow you to die. We need you. Tolu, there's something you are not getting, and I want you to get it straight. You see, God spoke to me about that sister. And I'm convinced we have a future together. Even though I didn't like her story when I heard about it, just like you are saying. But the truth of the matter is I must obey God. 
even when it seems it's not making sense, like it's not making sense to you, I must obey God. God's approval supersedes the caution of men. And that's what I believe. The hand of God is in it, and I'm ready to go for it. That's all. I have heard you, brother. Hmm? Whether God is involved or not, time will tell. Time will tell. Okay. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life And I've come to realize You're too faithful to fail me You're too faithful to fail me Come on! You fool! I was you are too faithful to disappoint me Brother Festus is at this hour that God's mighty power will go forth and set him free from the hand of his captors in the name of Jesus Father, Christ. In the Lord name God of Jesus, Almighty, oh God, come you are God upon the Jesus prayer by Father, prayer. The God the deliverer. Father, we call upon Father, you, Father, in for God our brother in the name Festus, of Jesus. that wherever he might be now, you know, that we please Father, God to you set him free God from the hands of the captors in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let him get his freedom in Jesus' name. We pray to God that you set him free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Acts chapter 16, the Bible tells of the story of Paul and Silas. Yes. They are going to pray that the same way he sent forth his mighty arms to set them free from the captive, captives of the people of the law, those who are leaders of the land. The power, mighty power of the Lord will set Brother Festus free. Wherever he may be at this hour, let us pray in the Father, name of Jesus Christ. Cause your son to experience your God, the mighty man that set free from all captivities in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, set your son free. Father, see your God, son free. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, he will not be harmed, he will not be hurt. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are stakeholders in this matter. And that's the reason why we want to ask God. Mm -hmm. He has to set our brother free, mm -hmm. prevent him from all harms, mm -hmm. so that our own name also will be protected. The name of the Lord through our ministries mm -hmm. will not be put into this refuge. We gave them support and everybody knew that. But God will intervene for our sake and set him free. Can we pray in the name of Father, Jesus? In the name of Jesus. We will not be put to shame. Your name will not be put to shame. This ministry, oh God, you will come to God to protect it. And so you sent your son. First us, wherever you may be, receive your freedom. Hey! Zamba! 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 Hey! Zamba! 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 Zamba za 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 zamba ha Zamba za 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 zamba ha Zamba Zamba za 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 zamba Zamba za 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 zamba Zamba za 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 zamba <sighs> you fool. Do you think you're so wise? <laughs> Woo! Come Stand up! Guys. We got to celebrate this. Yes! We got to celebrate this cup. 
Yeah. <laughs> Celebrate it, guys! Let's do that! Celebration power! Yes! We pray for what is the new custom on the church in the life of In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Once again, we are going to pray. Mm. We are asking God to cause a major deliverance for Brother Festus. How God will do it, we may not know. But we are trusting God that the Lord will deliver him. We are going to pray. We are going to ask that the Lord will cause a mighty deliverance for Brother Festus. Wherever he is, the Lord will cause there to be a major shaking. A major shaking. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus, shall we pray Father, that the Lord will bring Jesus, him out of the dungeon. Lord, bring your son, Festus, out of the dungeon of the great deliverance of God for him. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that every chain holding him down, we pray, Lord, that he is broken. In the name of Jesus, you will set him free, oh God, in Jesus' name. Name we are Jesus. praying. Amen. The Bible says, Sin shall not have dominion over you. Mm -hmm. We're going to pray for Sister Doris that every dominion of sin in our life, we are going to ask that the power of deliverance will break that dominion, that chain of sin in, his, in our life. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Father, the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for your Doris. Let the bondage of sin be broken in our life. In the name of Jesus. Every bondage holding out of captivity. We ask in that the such bondage be broken Lord, in the name of Jesus. Our in the name of Jesus. Deliver our God. Oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we I like that. Uh, you two go pick your own. Pick two. Oh yeah. The pick up a pick up move. You we'll go pack up for your mama for house. Oh yeah. General market. No try out. You see all this money where you see for ground there. Uh, your hand will reach one. <laughs> General market again. All of that this law. And now. Uh, and now they do the whole thing again. <laughs> you hear when? Wow, sharp guy. Sharp guy. Wow. Sharp guy. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Continue. Oh yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Another one. Yeah, give me your card. Yeah, give me your score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see your style. Ah. Okay. Ah, we got a good general market. Okay. I don't pick up. Ah. They all don't do me today. Make up. Ah. Even I say. <laughs> <laughs> Your mash will yeah. speak for me. Like, ah, oh yeah, you hold on, no. ah, Abba, don't do as if you get it's most. Like, it's like you get you, you bring you, you come today. No problem, sir. Do quick. No problem. I'm gonna give you. No problem.
my dear. What should we do now? Let's call this number. Sir. This number. Let's call the number. Calm down. Calm down. Just take it easy. We are not God that brought this message. Okay. We can't call this number back. He specifically put it in the message that we cannot call this number. It belongs to one of those bandits. So, I, I think we should call Pastor Dan and let him have this information. Okay, that's, that's, that's the best thing to do. That's true. Okay. In the name of Jesus, Father, set up for the In the name of Jesus, set up Yeah, who is calling? Ah, that's a duty. Hello, Pastor. Hello, sir. Yes. I just got a text message from Brother Festus now. What? How, how, how is he? Is he fine? Talk to me. What is in the text message? The message contains the description to where, where he is kept by the captors. <gasps> Send it to me, send it to me. I will forward it immediately to the DPO. DPO? Why, why not the IPO, sir? IPO, DPO, just forward it. I will just send it to me. I will forward it to the two of them. Okay, sir, I will do that right away. Thank you. Save me, Lord. Keep me, Lord, oh, in your hearts. That key is the stain that we cannot hide. What can I fail to wash it away? Wash me in your blood so I may be clean. Grace, I pray. Boss, 
Shoot him at the count of three. One. No. 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 Jesus. Two. Lord of heaven. Your hands above your head, everybody. Your hands above your head. This place is surrounded by the Nigerian police officers. If you misbehave, I will blow your head. Now, drop your weapon slowly. Yes, drop it slowly. Slowly. Boys are stone hearted. Hmm. They refuse to talk. Despite all our efforts, they kept mute. Not until when we applied unwarranted force on them. Then one of them opened up, sir. Oh, that's good. That's good. He mentioned the man that has been sending them to do the evil works. That is good. Then get your boys and go arrest the man. All right, sir. We are going to do that right away, sir. All right. Yeah. Relax. I didn't want to make this meeting an elaborate one. That is why I have invited the two of you alone. This man here has been the one killing all the husband to be of Doris. Oh. Jesus. Oh. He's even the one that kidnapped Festus so that he can kill him like he has killed others. That's not true. Um, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, Dipu. I'm sorry. I think we need to tread uh, softly and carefully here so that we do not um, unintentionally bring an innocent man to unnecessary judgment. Um, Mr. Ijabo here has been a successful businessman. When Doris was working with him, he was successful. Even after Doris left his employment, uh -uh, he kept on and maintained his successful enterprise. You see, we need to tread carefully. Ever since this case started, Mr. Ijabo here has been very nice to us. You know, he has been spending his time, his money, his attention to ensure that things go well. Mm. So I, 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 I think we need to tread carefully. That's right. We need to tread carefully. Right. Deep you. Calm down, Pastor. He has confessed to us. Though he denied the atrocity initially, but when my boys handled him, he confessed. I want you to hear from the horse's mouth. Now you, tell them everything that you have told us. Mr. Mr. Ijabo, please tell us it is not true. No. Speak up. Doris was not just my secretary in the office. She was also my girlfriend. Uh -huh. I love her so much because no woman has ever satisfied me sexually the way she did not even my wife I was so much in love with her to the extent that I, I planned to marry her and relocate her abroad but just one Monday morning she came into my office Really so you have to say this, sir. I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir. But I think it's better if I disappoint you than disappointing God. I'm very sorry, sir. Babe, <laughs> if I tell you I understand what you are saying, I'll be lying. Uh, what what are you saying? So I went for a retreat last weekend, sir. Where I met with the Lord genuinely. 
I had an encounter with Jesus. I'm a changed person now and I want to say we really need to put an end to this sinful relationship we are into. It has to stop. Ah, uh, Doris. I don't understand what you are saying. You, you know you can't do this to me, right? You can't. So, tell me what will happen to all the plans we have together. Tell me. This relationship is not a sinful one because I have promised to marry you. I also promised to relocate you for safety reasons. So, you know you can't do this to me. Please, you are the only woman in this world that really makes me feel like a real man. Please. Sir, we have to stop here. My life now belongs to Jesus. My body is the temple of the Lord. I can't continue to defile it. Sir, we have to stop. I'm sorry, we have to stop. Babe, please don't do this to me. Don't. You break my heart, please. Babe, you can't do this to me. You can't, please. You can't. I think I have to leave now, sir. up on her. I couldn't because all the qualities that she needed to be my wife was there. I prefer to plan my life with her and not even with my wife. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I, I, I didn't give up. I still pressurized her hoping that one day by chance she would just have everything. She just showed up in my office with another shocker. Sir, I discover it will be very difficult for me to live my newfound life in Jesus, working in this office. This is my resignation letter, sir. I have to go. What? Doris, no, 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 no. Do, do you have to go to this extent? Do you? Sir, I have to go. You can't do this to me, please. I love you. Sir, I sincerely appreciate you for everything you have done. I'm, I'm so grateful. But I have to go. I pray that the Lord continue to enlarge this business and continue to prosper the business. Thank you, sir. But I have to go. she left my company I looked for her because I couldn't even just do without her I looked for her and I, and, and I found her I gave her money for her own business and she collected it she started that business hmm. she collected it. what an error hmm. and sir the money she collected gave me the hope that at least I should still have access to her and probably she will come back to me. And I promised her that I will be like a brother to her and never mention the issue of a relationship again. But afterwards, I, I still tried. I, I, I tried all I could. I tried. Like a man, I tried. But I discovered that she, she is so determined and she won't even budge. Uh, suddenly she came to my office with a wedding invite. So I collected the invite from her and I gave her money for the wedding preparation. And uh, well, owing to her own determination, I also said to myself, if I can't have her, then no one will. Hmm. Jesus Christ! 
Is that why you have been killing innocent brothers? Ah, Mr. Ijaz, this, this is serious. You are wicked. Ah, uh ah. -uh. This is wicked and mean. Imagine what we do to ourselves. How could a man be so heartless to get to this estate? Now that he's exposed, he will have to face the wrath of the law. This is incredible. I can't believe my eyes. Eh? Mr. Jabo. We are charging him to court and the law will take his full course. We must thank God for your lives. We must thank God for everything that has happened. Ah, uh, my dear sister, have you seen what we're talking about? You must have seen what your past sinful life has cost you. Being in Christ is the best thing that can happen to any man. The most expensive life that anybody can live is a life of sin. Now, imagine, imagine, even after you had given your life to Christ, the consequences of your past life of sin still had a way of haunting you. But all the same, we give glory to God for the great deliverance that He has wrought on your behalf. My dear brother, brother Festus, I congratulate you. I want to thank you for being a true child of God. Thank you for obeying the Lord. Thank you for following him very closely. Thank you because you obeyed the Lord, you obeyed his instructions even when those instructions seemed to be senseless. Yet you obeyed. I celebrate you. First off, thank you very much. You have been a true father and mentor to him. Thank you for believing in him. Thank you for helping him to obey the Lord and to follow him closely. Ah, what shall we have been saying by now? Mm -hmm. If not for God, if not that God used people like you to rise on his behalf. Indeed, the devil is a bastard. Well, you see, the truth must be told. Ministers of God like you are scarce. So we thank you. Mama, thank you very much. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We have you to thank, Pastor for all that you and your family have done over this matter. We really bless the name of the Lord for that. You see, the family of Brother Festus were all on us. Mm. But we thank God who did not put us to shame. We thank God because the devil can only try, he can never win. Mm -hmm. Like you said, he is really a bastard. Yes. Truly, the devil is a bastard. Yes, he is. I want to thank God Almighty for His mercy, for His deliverance. I want to appreciate Daddy and Mommy Dan. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being true representatives of God. It is my prayer that the Lord will continue to support you. Amen. 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 The grace of God will be multiplied unto you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate my father and my mother in the Lord. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for standing by us. Thank you for not giving up on me. You see, your prayers held me. Your prayers held me. I want to thank God because God did not let me down. And God did not let you down as well. Even when they were asking me to say my last prayers, I believed in God. I was holding on to God. Thank you for standing by, sir. Thank you. Thank you for standing by us. 
Thank you so much. God bless you. Mm. Well, um, once again, we must uh, remind you that uh, God has given you another chance to enter into a newness of life. You are entering into a new realm of glory, a new realm of greatness. Amen. And um, for you to step into that you know, newness of life, you must come in with thanksgiving and praise. We praise and thanksgiver. You know, we must praise God. We must thank God, you know, for the deliverance of Brother Festus from the cold hands of death. You know, we must also thank God for the deliverance of uh, Sister um, Doris from, you know, the, the life of sin. We must thank God that God has brought you into a new realm of glory and is about to do something new in your life. And that must be preceded with serious praise and thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. You see, my brother and sister Doris, this is your newness. You must enter with praise and thanksgiving. Yeah. And I think this calls for celebration. Yes, <laughs> See what you've done for us. See how you set us free. You are a living God. There is no one like you. See what you've done for us. See how you set us free. You are the living God. Than my sins. 